What's up guys, LBF back here once again with another Vans review and today I have the Takahayashi Chukka Nomad LX. Now this is from the Premium Suede Pony Hair Collection that just dropped. These are a size 13 and retail on these was 150. Comes in the latest version of this Taka drawer box here. This one is definitely a little bit different. Comes in like this recycled shell. Very clean look. Same details we typically see on these boxes. You got that feather graphic on the top there, which I actually just learned is, I guess, like a take on his family crest, which is pretty cool. Then of course you have this little diamond graphic throughout the trim and some other small details on the box. The face, the drawer itself is in like this cream color. And then you got that white Vance Takayashi graphic on the corner with a nice dark brass ring. Comes in your standard Taka dust bag here. Nothing has changed for a couple seasons here. This is like an off-white canvas bag with some black detailing. And then of course you have the black drawstring on that. This is the Indian Trail colorway. These guys just dropped in a collection of three of these Chukka Nomads. The other two colorways were a chestnut, which is like a nice brown color and a black on black version as well. All three of the shoes are definitely dope. Can't go wrong with any of them, but I really have my eye on these trail Indian Trail ones, I think because I don't really have a shoe in this like khaki color. So I thought I would switch things up. I definitely still want both of the other Chukkas in this pack. First things first, this suede, pretty nice suede. Of course, I didn't have any doubts being that this was a Takahayashi shoe. Materials are always gonna be on point. That suede makes up pretty much the entire upper of the shoe except for this heel counter, which is where the pony hair comes in. Now, depending on which color you purchase, like this Indian Trail color, typically it comes with this brown uh, pony hair, at least every pair that I have seen has had it. You do see the pony hair on the heel counter and on this tongue tag, which is really cool. Also has some laser engraved graphics on it, that Taka flower emblem, I'm sorry, the feather emblem. Shout out to Sam Colt on that one. And then on the reverse, you got the Vans Takahayashi, also engraved. But nevertheless, with the Indian Trail here, you got the brown color, whereas the chestnut color is gonna have like a white pony hair, which I think sometimes might have some brown spots in it. And then finally, of course, the black on black featuring the black pony hair. I do love pony hair. Um, I was really feeling those slip-ons from earlier this year back in january one of my favorite ones for sure you do have this mock style upper of course this little extra piece on the vamp and the toe box here very nice detail and then even on the mug guard here we have the extra stitching which really reminds me of the pendleton tacos both the original and the re-release last year to really give it that extra push on the Native American aesthetic. Very cool. As far as the midsole goes, I'm pretty sure this is just white. It could possibly be a very subtle off-white. You have that Takahayashi detailing on this toe bumper that we've seen in a couple seasons now. Really love this detail, one of my favorites of the shoe. On the heel tab, we got the standard Vans Takahashi logo. And then on this outsole, crazy colors. You got that turquoise color, this nice red, and then of course your darker gum brown. Personally, I probably would have stuck with some more uh, subtle colors, definitely some darker earth tones, pretty much how the black on black pair looks, but it's the bottom of the shoe, so it doesn't really matter too much. The laces that come with these are gonna be this dark brown leather square lace. Of course, we gotta talk about this hound's tooth thing or whatever this is. This little tooth toggle that comes with it. It's definitely a unique detail of the shoe. 
It is a plastic tooth and it is pretty smooth, very strong tooth. It's got some cool details on it. It's almost translucent a little bit. Um, I'm not exactly sure how these are supposed to be laced up with this toggle, so I think this is how they have it in the promo picks. It's not a bad look, so I think I'll just keep it like that. On the interior of this shoe here, we got this pigskin leather, of course a very nice pigskin leather in like this peachy color, making up the entire interior all the way down to the toe box here. On the insole, we have some more pigskin leather, except this is gonna be like in a more of a tan color. More taka detailing on that. And then the front portion after that widow's peak moves into some black canvas. Now these do fit true to size, or at least true to a chukka size. I guess chukkas tend to fit just a slightly big, lots of room in the toe box there. Um, but I would definitely stick with your true size on these. I mean, who doesn't like a little bit of extra room in it? Very clean shoe. Definitely one of the better shoes to release this year. I think these and the Raised by Wolves uh, old school zips that came out um, earlier this year are probably my two favorites so far. It is still November though. We do still have December um, coming around the corner. I know that there's gonna be another talk drop, so we'll see how that one comes out. Uh, the extra laces that do come with these, totally forgot to mention these, are gonna be this like hiker style lace, which kind of looks like a Chinese finger trap. It's very cool though to match that outsole. Uh, gotta stick with the leather though. This is a Takahashi shoe, so leather it is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the review on these, and as always, be sure to stay tuned for the on feet.